it is time to continue our adventures through the normal type gem. We're gonna win today, I have a feeling. I don't see why we wouldn't. Let's battle. I'm gonna battle everyone even though I don't have to. Oh, you are a cute little trainer. I like you, but I won't hold back. Don't worry. You know, there's a lot of female-only gems, isn't there? I don't think there's any men in this gem. Victoria. Alright, well, Poliwag versus a Centret. I think that's a fair battle, considering how low level it is. I really gotta get Poliwag out of the first spot. Why is it still there? We aren't catching Bayonetta anymore, so why? Could've been Bayonetta doing this. Goodbye. You suck. Alright, what's your second Pokemon? Another Centret. Good. Bayonetta gets a turn. Alright. You're almost dead, but I don't think it'll faint you in one hit. It might. It's a lot higher level, so actually, yeah, it probably will. Whoops. Oh, good. Alright, then we can run away and send out... Uh, Ghastly can't do anything, so I'll have to be Butterfree. Even though Butterfree is almost off our team. In the very near future. Alright. Confusion. Oh, well, at least higher level means more experience for Bayonetta. Gotta get up to that level 18 fast. Get that false swipe. Highest priority. Because then we'll have Mean Look and False Swipe, and we'll be set for catching all Pokemon. Although I don't know if Mean Look affects moves like Roar. It might not. Probably doesn't? I have no idea. Yes, switch, switch, switch. How close are we to a level? Not close enough, unfortunately. Even with the higher level, I have a feeling it won't be enough. But anyway, Pokemon are starting to get closer to Kulava, so we're going to go ahead and train him real quick. Alright, Ember! So far, though, the only Pokemon I'm relatively certain we're keeping on our team for any given amount of time is Quilava and Bayonetta. The rest could easily be swapped out at any given moment if I capture the right replacement. Who knows? Oh no, the defense went up. Oh no, Quick Attack is going to do minor damage. I think there's at least one more trainer in this gym that we have to fight. Or will fight, regardless of having to. There we go, Victoria was defeated. Let's see, whoops, it's over. Alright, let's actually remember to switch Bayonetta into the primary spot. Right, we have to get on headbutting trees soon, too. Because not all Pokemon appear on all root trees. Okay... Yep, thought so. Don't let my Pokemon's cute looks fool you. They can... Did she say whip you? I don't know. I accidentally clicked A a little too fast. Last carry. Snubble. We've had a bit of trouble with Snubbles in the past. And this one's higher level. Very high level, honestly. And my Pokemon are quite hurt. Not good. We'll let Rocky go and maybe we'll get a magnitude 10 and just wipe out Snubble in one hit. Okay, well, that's not so bad. Right, Magnitude's my first move now. I forgot. Because I feel like it's the one I'm going to use most. Oh, Magnitude 7. That's average. Yep, if we could get Magnitude 8 or higher, we might be able to do this without taking damage. Oh, yeah. Snubble, you're dead. Goodbye. Darn, I thought you were weak. Okay, well now we can go ahead and get out of here. Because I'm pretty sure that's all the people in this. Yeah, all this pattern thing makes a Clefairy Sprite, but 
you can't see it because of the tiny screen. Which is a bit funny, I guess. That they'd go to all that effort for something you can't even see. Alright. Good morning. Still morning, apparently. Alright, we're ready for the battle, but there is one other thing I'm going to take care of because I realized something. Which is that the name raider is apparently in Goldenrod. Ah, so rude. Is it this house or is it a higher up one? This looks like a name raider. Hello, hello, I'm the name raider. I rate the names of Pokemon. Would you like me to rate names? Which Pokemon's nickname should I rate for you? Quilavas, please. Hmm, Quilava, that's a fairly decent name. But how about a slightly better nickname? Want me to give it a better name? All right, what name should we give it then? Okay, it's time for Quilava to have a name since he's a permanent part of our team. He needs to have a name. And he will be Firebert, which is a very good commando name. All right, this Pokemon's name this Pokemon is now named Firebert. That's a better name than before. Well done. See, he agrees. Firebert is a much better name. All right, so are we going to actually try to train Bayonetta? I don't think we will. I think we will go into this strong with Butterfree. Why Butterfree, you may ask? Because I have a feeling Rollout is Rock type and I don't want to, you know, I think we can go the other way. Yeah, I don't want to have Butterfree get one hit by rollout, so might as well have it go up against the Clefairy. I think it's Clefairy first and then Miltank, right? All right. Yep, get over here. I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon, but I have strong and cute Pokemon. Good stuff. You are not the gym leader, though. <sighs> Last Bridget wants to battle. There was a fourth trainer that I did not know about, unfortunately. Eh, hey, well. If we can just have Butterfree deal with this issue, then we'll be fine. And we'll just keep on trucking through the gym leader. You can do it, Butterfree. Get a confusion in. No. Oh, gosh. Well, it was nice knowing you, Butterfree, but you got hit by a barely better than 50% chance move. Oh, good. Oh, that's just great. Wow, you can't even use a disabled move when you're asleep. Oh, no. This Jigglypuff is crap. Come on, now. Wow. Wake up, you dumb Butterfree. Okay, you know what? Come on. I hate sleep, the way it's programmed. Oh my gosh. I think taking damage should increase your chance of waking up. That's what I feel. Okay, there we go. Of course, at this point, he's raised his defense so high. I'm gonna have to switch Pokemon anyway. Who wants a chance? I guess Poliwag, because you're relatively useless as well. I just didn't want Butterfree to be asleep. That's all. I want Butterfree to maybe be able to get a move out. Wow, two times in a row, huh? If you put Poliwag to sleep, Jigglypuff, I will hate you forever. Thank you. Aw, oh, no level. <sighs> okay, another Jigglypuff. Great. You know what? We're going to have to just go crazy on this, because these Jigglypuff are going to be really annoying if we don't take them out fast. Alright, let's magnitude them to death. Please, magnitude 8 or higher. No. 
Dang it. Second lowest magnitude ever that we've seen. Still half the health, though. We're still okay. Please just get magnitude six or higher. Yes, okay. Goodbye. Now what? Another freaking Jigglypuff. Please, magnitude 10. Just get rid of this dumb puffball. Oh, well, that's fine. It'll do good damage, if not mega damage. Hey, look at that. Okay. Not a level. We got a lot of Pokemon close to a level. Bridget, you suck. Oh, no, no, no. All right, let's actually battle Whitney. Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Yeah, you only got into it because everyone else was. I doubt you're that good. That's not the strategy of someone who's good. Oh no, a Clefairy. I never saw that coming. Clefairy looks a little... weird. The sprite. Alright, um, do we just stun sport? I guess so. Why not? Oh, okay, well... Goodbye, Butterfree. It was nice knowing you, I guess. You did so much for us. Firebird, you're up. Alright, Ember to death. Let's get this over with. High level Clefairy, though. Jeez, 18. Critical hit, yay. Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, wow. It's just not this Clefairy's day, is it? It's dead. Not necessarily from this attack, but from the burn. Maybe not. Uh-oh, Metronome. Please don't be a healing move. Hyperfang, really? Okay, I didn't do much because of the burn. Lowering its attack. Alright. Mill tank. You know what? The best strategy for this mill tank is? More than anything else? Just get a smoke screen on it. Wow, it's fast. But yeah, if you get that smoke screen on it, then its rollout will fail. And that just ruins its ability to roll down your whole team. Yep, there we go. We'll get two smoke screens, and then we'll just try to decimate it with just Firebird. But if not, I'm not concerned about my abilities here. We've got Miltank beat. Maybe we'll even get it burned, who knows. Ow. Nope, no burn. Goodbye, cruel world. Okay, next up, I don't want to send Bayonetta. Probably die. Then again, maybe not, you know, but no, we'll just send Rocky. Try to get this over with fast with a nice magnitude. Wow, that's a lot of damage for not very effective. And it caused a flinch of all things. Oh no, attract. Crap. I'd forgotten about that. If we get an attract, we have to switch Pokemon. It's not worth dealing with. Okay, good. Please, magnitude 10. No, that's even worse. Magnitude 9 would be okay as well. I don't even think we've seen one of those. Oh gosh. Well, it was nice knowing you, Rocky, but you're pretty much useless now. Magnitude 6 again. Should we just fight through it since we're so close? Nah. Because Bayonetta isn't affected. Because Bayonetta is a girl. Milk drink. Oh, I forgot about that crap. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's a lot of healing there. Okay, we'll cut. I thought we had this in the bag, but no, we're doomed. Because of milk drink. Ow! Critical hit. Okay, well, we'll bring Rocky out and just do this again. But hopefully get a better magnitude this time. Okay, thank you. Oh, well, it's not that good. Okay, that was really terrible, actually. What the heck? That was worse than the previous Magnitude 7s, I think. There we go! That's some serious damage. 
Yeah. That's a lot of experience, too. Oh, yeah. Saw, but why? You're mean. You shouldn't be ser so serious, you, you child, you. What a cry, baby. Wah, wah, snivel, hick, you meanie. Then you go here. Oh no, you made Whitney cry. It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Sniff. What? What do you want? A badge? Oh right, I forgot. Here's plain badge. Wow, what a great, great name for your badge. Plain badge lets your Pokemon use strength outside of battle. It also boosts your Pokemon speed. Oh, you can have this too. It's attract. It makes full use of a Pokemon's charm. Isn't it just perfect for a cutie like me? Sure, whatever. It's not even the main danger. Rollout has always been the main danger of this gym. Not attract. Because attract only works on certain Pokemon anyway. I, I would say half a Pokemon, but the gender ratios in Pokemon don't work quite like that. Oh well, so that's the gem complete. We got a speed boost to all our Pokemon of 12.5%, which means we will now generally be faster than equivalent wild Pokemon, which is very nice. Alright, let's heal up. And then we're going to go back and try to capture a Ditto. Now that we have False Swipe. Also Snubble, but um... Yeah. For Snubble, of course, we'll want to have Ghastly in the front space. There we go. Alright, let's get moving down here. Route 34. Do we need a value? No, we already did. Maybe I should take one to a daycare, blah blah blah. Wow, you talk a lot. Holy cow, shut up! Oh, I forgot about adding people's phone numbers. Right. There's Todd's number. I completely forgot about that. I check Goldenrod Department Store every day so I know when there's a sale. I had forgotten about that feature. No, this girl over here is one you can add to, the one we didn't battle. You gotta re-talk to everyone after you beat them so you can battle them again later. Okay. Okay, it's just this girl then that I'm pretty sure is one of the ones. Are you a trainer? Let's have a practice battle. Glitchy sound. Why is it so glitchy? A hoppip, huh? Can it even do damage, I wonder? What type are hoppips? Are they affected by lick? Yes. Not very much, though. Oh well. We'll just lick it to death, why not? Ghastly needs the training. Become useful. Oh no, I've been tail whipped. Now it can continue to not damaging me. Continue to not damaging, yes, whatever. Oh right, I forgot about this. I always forget about this. Whatever, I think we can do it. Especially if we get a paralyze. If you're a trainer and you tell your Pokemon to use Splash, you're pretty much an idiot. Except in very specific circumstances. Alright, we win. There's no way for you to survive. Goodbye. Okay, 142 EXP. Oh, Bulbasaur, huh? That's interesting. Pokemon that's not even available to us. Oh well, we need to get um, Firebird some training anyway. Alright, Ember! That was easy. Alright, now another Hoppip, whatever. That'll get me my level, so that Firebird can be tied for highest level again. There we go. 
Yay! All right, Gina, you have been defeated. Oh no, I just can't win. Now what? Hi, Kebab, how are you? I found a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. Psh, what a jerk. Okay. You're too strong to be a practicing partner. Whenever I see a strong trainer, I want to be their cheerleader. When I'm on my walk, I sometimes pick up items. If I get anything, you can have it. Want to give me your number? I'll call as soon as I can get anything. There we go. I think she can sometimes get useful items too. I'll call as soon as I get anything. Alright, so anyway, now that that's done. I can't believe I'd forgotten about that feature entirely. We've missed some trainers for sure. I know there's one south of um, Violet that... Is it Violet? Whatever the first gym town is. Yeah, there's one south of there. Picnicker that you can do that with. I think more than one person on that route, honestly. Uh, and I know there's some people in the bug catching area as well. At least one. But anyway, okay, so we're back to searching for Ditto and um, Snubble, which should both appear because it's still morning and not nighttime or anything. Ditto is the most important one, but Snubble is likely up here first. Here's a dumb Jigglypuff that we don't care about. Run! Now that we've got False Swipe, I really don't have to worry that much. Although with Ditto, I'm going to want to switch immediately from uh, Ghastly. Well, I don't have to now, because we're going to catch Snubble and then not need Ghastly anymore. Alright, mean look immediately. All right, now you can't escape, you little jerk. All right, who do we want to send out for this? Um, I guess just Bayonetta, right? That's what we have Bayonetta for, is catching stuff and cut. Almost a level two, very nice. All right, um, Edbutt. Don't have false swipe yet, but we're getting... Holy cow! That was a lot stronger than I thought it would be. Okay, well anyway. Right, the Pokeballs are in the wrong place. Let's fix that. Ease. Come on. No! These snubbles are hard to catch. Which I guess is by design, because they were one of the, you know, advertising ones along with Donfin, Togepi, and Marill. But who knows? They kind of wasted those Pokemon. In truth, it is a cowardly Pokemon. It growls eagerly in order to hide its fear from its opponent. No. All right, so there's that. Now we just want to capture a Ditto. What type do we want Ditto to be? Do we want it to be water? I think that'd be fine, right? But that would give it, oh, we gotta be careful here. I think we want it to be um, Bayonetta just for the, uh... oh, the move is that. It's switch for, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, just for the move selection, Bayonetta doesn't have anything overly ridiculous for a Ditto to gain. Hey, look at that! What are the odds? I'm glad too, because I just noticed how long we've been doing this episode. Alright, so... I don't know if I want to use any of these moves, though. I'll try Pursuit, because I don't think it'll be very strong. Yeah, okay. Oh no, it's a pink Scyther. As soon as we get it to yellow, we're just going to go for it, because I don't want to have to find another one of these. Headbutt is pretty strong, isn't it? Okay, well anyway, let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball. Hope for luck. Luck can be on my side, right? Yes! Oh yeah. That's this route done, for now. Except for one thing, the uh, egg. 
When it encounters another ditto, it will move faster than normal to duplicate that opponent exactly. Oh. Huh. Okay. So yeah, now the only thing I have left to deal with is this in here, which is not too bad. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is do a save state, which I believe is this key here. And then we will be able to deal with the egg, right? You know about eggs? I was raising Pokemon with my wife, you see. We were shocked to find an egg. How incredible is that? Well, wouldn't you like this egg? Then fine, this is yours to keep. I've got no room. Yeah, I realized that as soon as I started talking, but whatever. But yeah, basically this egg has a 14% chance of being shiny and um, random choice of being any baby Pokemon as well. But Butterfree away for now. I mean, it's going to be weak Pokemon in terms of IVs regardless, but I would like to get a shiny of anything. I don't care which one. I don't care which shiny it is, so long as it's shiny. In the Japanese version, it's a 50% chance, which is ridiculous. I found that when I was caring for someone's Pokemon before, but the trainer didn't want the egg, so I'd kept it around. Alright, so yeah. Basically, we will be hatching this egg. I will hatch this egg before the next episode. And uh, basically, if it's a shiny, then we'll keep it. If not, I'll reload my save state. And uh, that will be how it goes. But anyway, yeah, see you guys next time.